Hello, and welcome to the Regional Report, I'm your host, Gersu, the Orchest Mech Knight. In today's episode, we'll be discussing top cut and decks from a regional in Southampton, a tournament in Peckham. All information shown today was kindly supplied by our faithful competitive community. In particular, check out the YGO Results UK Glide app where you can submit or view results from events and check how well a player is doing. If you'd like to contribute, feel free to reach out on our socials. Let's go over to Blue with the pie charts. Thanks Gersu. Looking at the regional in Southampton, Branded had a respectable finish, coming in at 25% of the pie chart. Dragon Link Kashtira had a good run, consisting of 12% of top cut lists. An interesting point to consider is Kashtira also made it into top cut. In comparison with past data, we can see that Branded had a stable participation. Additionally, Kashtira had a marked reduction. That's it for Top Cut, back to the studio. Thanks Blue, and might I say, superior analytical skills as always. Let's take a closer look at a list, kindly submitted by Kyle Bassett who ended in 5th place at this regional, beating 4 other players and ending with a 4-0-2 record. An unusual choice was one copy of Change of Heart and it proved to be a shrewd move. Here's what they said about the deck, the deck was blind going second, designed to clear fields and then use the plunder and brave engines to establish control in the simplified game state, although both engines are also good going second so you aren't relying on seeing tech cards. The tech slots were built around triple tactics thrust allowing me to effectively run 4 copies of different thrust tech options that I could choose from in game depending on the matchup. The extra deck can be simplified, I think the BLS Link and Psychic End Punisher can be cut for a second Zeus and a second Bran or Jord. Thanks Kyle Bassett for your contribution. Thanks Gersu. Looking at the UK Open in Peckham, Kashtira did the best they could, comprising 44% of top cut lists. Sprite gave a good effort, comprising 22% of top cut lists. Comparing to previous results, we can see that Branded was not present in the latest top cut, surprising given its recent strong performances. Additionally, Kashtira had some positive momentum. That's it for Top Cut, back to the studio. Thanks Blue, and might I say, superior analytical skills as always. It's time to take a look at a list, kindly submitted by Harrison Moore who ended in 5th place at this UK Open, beating 7 other players and ending with a 7-1-1 record. An unusual choice was 3 copies of Marinces Spring Girl and it proved to be a shrewd move. Harrison Moore kindly provided a siding pattern against Cash Tira going second. Here's what they said about the deck, deck felt incredible all day, drew well and always had that one too many interruptions for opponents, playing the deck more reserved and respecting Nibiru all day worked well as I got nibbed a lot, two wave felt correct on the day even to I been stuck on one copy for ages, the ability to bait a hand trap with the link 3 after already drawing wave came up multiple times throughout the day, Kraken is mandatory in the extra deck and single handed 1-2 games. Cash Tira game 3 and Dragon Link game 3, by popping a huge Nibiru token, my loss was unfortunate as my opponent hard drew the trap card I used two hand traps to stop him getting access to. All in all quality deck with only a few changes required for YCS London. For more siding, vs branded I put 3 Lanza in, stop expulsion at all cost, and take 1 mining 1 wave 1 mandarin out. The engine side out is a standard for going second and to be replaced with whatever silver bullet required for rouge matchups, branded is always attempt to stop expulsion and cash all that's needed is to remove the arise heart, eclipse is a common side out for rogue in favor of evenly or kaijus. Thanks Harrison Moore for your contribution. Let's consider a list, 
kindly submitted by Mitchell Crowther who ended in 11th place at this UK Open, beating seven other players and ending with a 7-2-0 record. Of note, they included one copy of Liv Twinky Sequel and it turned out to be a successful choice. Mitchell Crowther kindly provided a siding pattern against Cash Tira going second. Here's what they said about the deck, the deck felt incredible, looking forward to taking a variation of it to the Eeks at the end of the month. Drawing five times felt very unfair and gave me ridiculous amounts of follow-up. Muckracker in T3 is just silly with the amount of advantage that you gain, and having the flexibility to be able to non your own board after they have played through all your interaction with this option live is insane. I was going into most T3s with a full hand of cards. Lethal lines were insanely easy, and the cash matchup felt great. Standard end forward looked like, Muckraker, Key Seekill, with the pop and the draw loaded in grave, Gin Buster with a caps hell loaded underneath and a carrot negate with whatever sets and hand traps I drew into. In general when siding, I used a pretty straightforward concept of siding out consistency when I knew my opponent was going to off to go first, consistently I was siding out 3x secret password for 3x power cards for the matchup. Against cash this is contact C, as contact C on Theosis stops their board from doing anything that even remotely scares me. If I respected the cash player, e.g. they show me they aren't trying to set up a poor board by going for the zone lock, then Nib came out for evenly. Koh always came in but you will see why later on down at the end. Against Sprite in the one mirror I had, despite there being a lot of it in the room, this was droll. Evenly also came in for Nib though as any Sprite player worth their salt shouldn't be getting nibbed with a half decent hand. I expected a lot more mirrors TBH following the Lima result, and TBH there was a lot of Sprite in the room, I just dodged it which is fine, the droll def won me the one game I had against branded the idea was contact C again, as this after branded fusion stops their board from doing anything too scary once again, I lost my branded matchup, but the geezer on it I have played at a few other events, he has been on the deck for ages and is just a very talented player so I have no shame for that. Lav OFC it's evenly, but I also slap in judgments for Nib as it's likely to come up and be live if we get into the grind. Caps Hell was 100% being sided out when I knew I was going second for either Harpas or Koh, as I only needed for my T1 combo going first. When I was on the play, the only card I needed to put into my main 100% of the time was Judgment, and the card is insane TBH it doesn't need much explanation, against Cash I was siding out Econs going first, the card is insane into them going second but going first just taking a body isn't enough cause it just frees up their monster zones for them to SS another, would rather prevent a blowout slash summon once I get a read on the hand. Thanks Mitchell Crowther for your contribution. Let's look at some products now. Konami recently released one product for the game. The booster pack, Maze of Memories, was released on March 9, 2023. Has it already made its mark, or is there more change in store? Looking ahead. No releases are on the horizon, but the format may evolve as players discover new and effective ways to play. Don't forget that you can get 5% off at tier0games.com when you use the discount code yazi 5 at checkout. As always we'd like to thank our contributors and community for the incredible support. Remember to subscribe and let us know your thoughts on the latest card game news. And watch out for polls coming up on the channel. That's all for now in the world of card games. Keep playing and have fun.